I say, without you, without CBS, a lot of this wouldn't happen. Now, tonight, millions of dollars are on the way to help with levee repairs in the Wilton area after weeks of rain caused breaches and breaks. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf shows us where the money will go and why work there is garnering national attention in a story you'll only see on CBS 13. Work hasn't stopped along the Consumnes River in Wilton. I'm just trying to groom this. We have to fill this all back in because all this material washed out. Mike Aronson has spent tens of thousands of dollars in the past repairing flood damage. As per state law, private landowners are responsible. But this year, we're getting a lot of help, so it's great. Reclamation District 800, which oversees more than 31 miles of levee, is helping with materials and labor. In January, they spent more than $2 million, and so far this month, they've spent more than a half a million in temporary emergency. Emergency repairs. They've been asking for help from agency after agency while borrowing money to keep working. And finally, Friday, after all the storm clouds, a little sunshine. But there's a lot of good news coming our way. RD800 board member Leland Schneider says the Natural Resources Conservation Service is awarding them one and a half million dollars for work at Lee School Crossing, where the levee overtopped along a half mile stretch on the south side of the river. On a 75 25 share. They pay 75, we pay 25. He says they've also applied for up to five million in FEMA reimbursement. He thinks they'll get it. Other districts are calling and asking how they got it done. Because of CBS and Rachel. That's what I tell them. After months of asking, now he's the one being asked. They're calling and saying, what can we do? He says that includes the Department of Water Resources and the Army Corps of Engineers. What was the conversation with the Army Corps like? It's a discussion about how they can help in the future so we can be in front of this. Back at the ranch, Aronson will continue clearing debris and making repairs. He worries other ranchers upriver are not. We all got to be together on this thing and that's a little bit of a challenge. He says the real work needs to take place inside the river itself, clearing silt, sand and trees. From basically Dillard Road all the way on down through these ranches back here, these, these rivers are filling up, so there's no room for the water to flow. And if there's no room for the water to flow, it's going to top the levees, and that's what we've experienced here. Nice job, Rachel Wolf, shining a light on that trouble. The Army Corps is expected to be at the district's next meeting, and that is on March 2nd at the Wilton School at 9 a.m.